Uh, the battle between Republican presidential frontrunner Donald Trump and Texas Senator Ted Cruz is escalating. Fresh off their heated back and forth about each other's wives, Cruz spent much of Good Friday responding to a tabloid article that claimed he cheated on his wife. The National Enquirer published a story. It is a story that quoted one source on the record, Roger Stone. Donald Trump's chief political advisor. Let me be clear, this National Enquirer story is garbage. It is complete and utter lies. It is a tabloid smear. And it is a smear that has come from Donald Trump and his henchmen. Trump shot down that notion, responding on Facebook, quote, I have nothing to do with the National Enquirer, and unlike lion Ted Cruz, I do not surround myself with political hacks and henchmen and then pretend total innocence. In what might be viewed as a cool-down period, neither candidate is scheduled to be on the trail today. Trump's often controversial comments about women are raising questions within the Republican Party about his ability to win over female voters, especially in a possible matchup with Hillary Clinton in the November election. Chip Reid says those comments seem to be turning increasing numbers of voters away from Trump and could cost him party support. Campaigning in Wisconsin, Ted Cruz suggested for the first time that he might not support Donald Trump if he's the Republican nominee. I don't make a habit out of supporting people who attack my wife and attack my family. Trump's use of photos to poke fun at Heidi Cruz's appearance and other derogatory comments about women are also turning off women voters, according to some Cruz supporters. His mannerism and his speech, he tears too many people down and against each other. Trump has suggested Megyn Kelly is a bimbo, called Rosie O'Donnell a fat pig, and said of former GOP candidate Carly Fiorina, look at that face, would anyone vote for that? A CBS News New York Times poll in October found that 57% of all registered women voters had an unfavorable view of Trump. Now it's up to 63%. In a head-to-head -head matchup with Hillary Clinton, Trump trails 50 to 40 percent. And the reason is women who give Clinton a whopping 20-point advantage over Trump, 55 to 35 percent. But it's a very different story among women who vote in Republican primaries. Trump is leading with 41 percent, followed by Cruz at 27 and John Kasich at 23 percent. Many women at Trump's rallies have told us they like him precisely because he's not afraid to be controversial. I just think he's not political, politically correct, and I think it's wonderful. I kind of like that he is just straightforward and says it like it is and doesn't sugarcoat some things. Trump has not been seen on the campaign trail in four days, but in a statement, he said he'll be spending next week in Wisconsin, where the next big primary takes place April 5th. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Chip Reed, Washington.